Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can use your text within 3D space. As you saw in previous videos, you can move your text up and down and left to right, but what if you want to move it in 3D space? What if you want to move it backwards, forwards, tilt it, turn it, rotate it in different dimensions? That's what we're going to look at now. So here we are in After Effects. I've just created a new composition. I have a, I have a white background and I've got a 30 second project. And if I'm going to use text in 3D space, I'm going to need some text. So I'm going to go to the toolbar at the top, click on the text tool, click once on the stage, and I'm going to write 3D space. You can highlight your text, you can choose a font. I'm happy with that. You can choose a size, make it bigger or smaller, and you can choose a color. Someone give me a color. Ha, <laughs> can't hear you. I'm gonna go for red. And then click OK. When you're happy with your text, simply go back to the arrow tool. So, here I have my text, and you can see within my timeline panel, a layer has been created for my text. I'm going to activate the transformation options within the layer. So, I'm gonna click on this little arrow. I'm gonna click on the arrow next to transform. And here are the transformation options that you've seen in a previous video. And like I said, you can see that I can do a number of things to this text. I can move it up and down and left and right. I can rotate it around. I can make it bigger and smaller. But I want to do the cool 3D things to it, like tilt, turn, rotate it, make it go backwards and forwards. To do that, I need to go to these three unchecked boxes here, and it's the last one that I'm interested in. And if I put my cursor just above to explain what that means, it will make my layer 3D. So it will let me manipulate that layer within 3D space, within three dimensions. And if I click on that, you can see my text has more options available. I know my screen has changed, that's my fault, I didn't change the view. Okay, so if I just untick that and click it, can you notice the main difference within your timeline panel? More options are available. You have an extra dimension that you can play with. Again, if I untick it, you can see there's only two fields there, rotation, position, scale. They only have two options. If I click on that 3D layer, it gives me the 3D options. It gives me the third options. And you can see that within your uh, within your stage, you have three arrows that aid you with how to work with your text in 3D space. Now you can see with the anchor point, I can move it backwards and forwards. And underneath the rotation, or where rotation is, there are three options now for rotation. And again, I can rotate it so it tilts forwards or turns backwards. The Y rotation, again, will turn my text. You'll notice that my text is turning from a specific point. That's the anchor point, if you hadn't, if you hadn't realized from previous videos. So if I wanted it to turn from the middle, I simply need to change the anchor point. So if I go to the anchor point options, move that to the middle, let's change the height and move it right into the middle of space. I'm just going to move my text into the middle. Now if I go to Y rotation and rotate it, you can see it's rotating from the middle now. And just show you Z rotation quickly, that will rotate like that. Again, if I do that again, now if I go back to my composition window and change the view, so if I say go to custom view 1, you can see what my text looks like from a specific angle. And you can see it moving backwards and forwards now. You can see it turning and rotating from an X axis. If I turn it from a Y, here we go, and rotate it. Now to animate this text, you can do that simply by using and creating and activating keyframes. So if I click on all the keyframes, move my timeline slider to six seconds, I might want my text to rotate a few times and I might want the scale to get bigger and maybe the position it goes off screen. So let me just do that. There we go. Okay, so if I move my timeline slider, you can see my text is there and now it's getting bigger and rotating. 
in 3D space and moving towards me in 3D space. Pretty cool. Now there is another cool feature here that doesn't really relate to text. Now you can see it moving and it's moving quite sturdy. I can't apply a motion blur to it. Motion blur is that when something is moving it has a blur to it and it gives it a really nice cool effect. Now if I go back to those three unchecked boxes, the first one is a motion blur that will add a nice blur to your objects when moving. That's And that's done by simply clicking on that button. But I need to activate it within the whole software. Now within the timeline panel options, there is a button that enables it. If I simply click on it, don't need to do anything else. It will automatically apply that effect to your text. Now if I click onto my timeline and play it, you can see that it has that nice motion blur effect to it. And there it goes off screen. Now if I play it again, because it's rendered, there we go. Sometimes you might have seen text with that cool motion blur effect. That's how it's done in After Effects. Okay, And that's how you use your text within 3D space. If you want to go even more there is a way where you can see your text uh, in different views. So if I go four views, now here we go, I can see my text from what it lo looks like on the right side, on the front side, at the top, and a custom view. If I play that, you can see how the text is moving. I can simply click on the screens to see what it will look like on each window. Any questions, ask Michelle, ask Andrew. If not, enjoy the next video.